Hello everyone. Today's video is going to be a short one. We are going to discuss how we could potentially share our UI Vision RPA macros across multiple computers. Now, as you know, by default, UI Vision RPA stores the macros in the local browser storage, which means that if you have multiple computers, you effectively have no easy way of making sure all of those computers have access to the same macros. And that's the issue we are going to be solving today. To do this, we are going to need a few things. Number one, you're going to need to have a cloud storage service like Microsoft OneDrive, Google Drive, or Dropbox. And in this video, I'm going to be using Microsoft OneDrive. And number two, you're going to need to install X modules add-on for a UI vision. You can check out my link at the bottom of the screen here to see how this is done if you have not done so already. And once we've got that done, let's start today's session. So here you can see the UI Vision macros that's on my MacBook Pro laptop. And because I've got X modules installed, I have first saved all of my macros on local file storage instead of the browser storage. The default location where UI Vision stores the macros is in the UI Vision folder on the desktop. And here you can see all of my macros stored in the macro subfolder within this UI Vision folder. Now, the location of the UI Vision folder in local storage mode can be changed in the X module settings as shown here. What we want to do next is to create a UI Vision folder in our cloud storage folder. In my case, that would be my OneDrive folder as seen here. Next, we go back to our original UI Vision folder on the desktop and copy all of the contents into this new UI Vision folder on our cloud storage. And now let's go back to our UI Vision X module settings and change that location of local storage to the new location in OneDrive. And then we'll just do a refresh and now UI Vision is reading the macros from our new UI Vision location. Okay, so let's switch over to my Windows laptop now. If I open UI Vision here, and if we go into the settings, we will see that the macros are currently being stored locally in the desktop UI Vision folder on this laptop. Now let's quickly take a look at the OneDrive folder I have on my Windows laptop. And here you can see the UI Vision folder and this is the one that is synchronized from my MacBook laptop through OneDrive. Let's quickly update this path with the new one from the OneDrive folder. And if we do a refresh, you will see now all the uh, macros from the OneDrive has been read. And now even the data files has been read from there. And if we open that up, we will see the four speed test records that was created from our previous tutorial. You can see there. Let's quickly execute the speed test macro again, but now we run it on the Windows PC. See the speed test website opens in the background. And this test will run a bit as the speed test takes some time to execute. And we are back as the script continues to run. And it is now finished. Let's take a quick look at the test result. And here we can see that the new record has been added to the test results. Okay, so let's save and close the data file. And let's quickly jump back to my MacBook laptop. Now, if you open the data file from here, from the Mac laptop, we will now see the additional test results that was uh, recorded on, you know, when I ran the script on the Windows laptop here. Now, since this macro runs on both Windows and Mac, I may want to create a new folder called both platforms and move this macro into that new folder. Okay. 
Okay, and now let's go back to my Windows machine and let's see that new structure reflected here. So there you go. Today we saw how using X modules and a cloud storage service like Microsoft OneDrive, we can easily synchronize our UI Vision RPA macros between multiple computers, even if they are running on different operating systems. I hope this video was beneficial and please like this video if it was helpful and do subscribe to my channel as I continue to post more information with regards to automation here. Until the next time, have a good day.